So let's see what kind of legendary we get guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you can see, I'm 9-0 in the Grand Challenge right now and of course I'll try to get to the 12 wins live for you guys and I'll actually share and play with this really cool, kind of like a new lockpaid version. It's not completely new just because a few months ago, like in a different meta, it was actually used but it's new in the sense that right now with the, yeah, the Prince buff, it's kind of back so this is the best lockpaid version in my opinion, like in the current meta. Super, super good deck in my opinion just because it applies so much pressure, especially with, uh, with the Royal Ghost and also the Prince. For example, if they use the lock on the Goblin barrel you can definitely go with like let's say your prince uh goblin gang combination also what i like to do in double elixir is prince uh compared like combined with the rascal super super strong combination of course the princess um for value like if they use the lock like they either lock the princess then the goblin barrel can for example get damage or if they uh yeah use consistently like keep the lock for the goblin barrel try to get as much value out of the prince as possible then we have the poison and the lock poison isn't really a spell you see much in um like lock pay decks usually it was either fireball or rocket or in some decks like even not a big spell for example only tornado and look but this spell or this deck does have the poison and the look why the poison just because with the prince sometimes you actually make a push and then um yeah the poison can get a lot of uh, can get a lot of value i'm sorry guys uh, especially because the hp of the prince as you can see 1615 hp on tournament standard so that's definitely a lot of hp but i would say let's open to the first match guys enough talking hopefully we're able to get the 12-0 i definitely want to show you guys how strong this deck is just because as i said like in my opinion this is the best version of the lock bait like of lock bait um in general like in the current meta but it looks like surgery for opponent. No, it looks like it doesn't take a while. It looks like we already find the match. So we're in the first match, guys. Let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So we start off with Rescos. We have Prince, Goblin Barrel, Lock. Next card is a Princess. So I think I would just start off with the Goblin Barrel. I'm dropping it on the side just because I don't want them to, for example, tornado it to the King Tower um, as easy as if I just drop it on the middle. So it looks like he has bets. Looks like he didn't either have a small spell in cycle or he has the zap. But looks like he does go with a minor. I'll go with my rescos. Maybe bet rescos just because the bets will actually. Um, no, I think it's actually pretty good. Only took one minor hit, I believe. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's go with a uh, prince in the back. So it looks like he does have prince. He has bets and then he has a minor. So it looks like maybe a mortar deck. Maybe also like a bait deck. So he does have the uh, spear goblins. I'll definitely go with my look. Just because this also resets his prince charge. So our prince will actually um, get, end up winning the fight. First of all, it's on our side of the map, of course. But also just because... Um, yeah, because of the look. So I think he might know. He will definitely go with bets. So I'll actually go with prince over here. Hopefully it actually kills the bets. And then the prince can stay alive. So it looks like he does use the lock. I'll actually go with a golden barrel right away. Why right away? Just because he still needs to respond to it. And since he doesn't have a lock. He might actually end up dropping for example. Yeah goblins or something. And since the princess is still alive. The princess will actually hit and the tower. And then for example the units he uses to counter the, um, the barrel there. So since his lock is out of rotation. I'll actually go with rescos offensive. I'll actually let one lock on. And then one um, like killed by the rescos. So let's see what he has right now. Looks like he's forced to go with a defensive miner, which of course, like for him, is actually a really bad play. And looks like the Rascal Boy will stay alive, so it might actually end up connecting like one or two hits onto the tower. Looks like it will be able to connect for two hits, so that's actually awesome. I'm not sure how much one like Rascal Boy hit uh, like does, but actually, let's see, brings down the tower to 1300 uh, yeah, HP exactly. So definitely not bad over there. Let's go with the Prince into the left side, especially because I feel like we're up in Elixir. Don't want to leak any Elixir, just want to keep applying pressure. We can just cycle with the Royal Ghost in the back, no problem at all. Do want to watch out with his prince, of course. Looks like our prince is actually able to get that hit. That's insane. Let's go with a prince to the side. Or a princess to the side, another prince. And looks like the Royal Ghost will definitely die to his... Um, to his prince over there. Let's go with Goblin Gang to the side. Let's actually go with Rascals over here. And I think the Mortar will not lock on the tower. Or might actually lock on the tower right now. I think it's locked on to the... No, it actually... No, it didn't splash the tower. That's actually awesome for us. Let's go with a lock over here, guys. Looks like the Mortar was able to... No, it still didn't lock onto the tower. That's actually awesome. It was constantly distracted. Looks like he does go with his um, look. I'll actually go with Goblin Barrel Y in front just because he might actually go with a Goblin like gang behind the tower. So it looks like the Goblins are actually able to connect. Looks like he did go with a Prince but he didn't have enough Elixir and looks like that is into Poison range. So I'll just already drop the Poison. Only 24 seconds left. So right now we just need to focus on defense. The look will be able to... Our uh, Poison look range, excuse me. It's definitely not Poison range. Poison is 216 HP on um, tournament standard. So let's actually go with a prediction look for his Goblin Gang. Looks like it did pay off. It doesn't matter that much. It's just because he won't take the tower anyways. Just need to cycle to a poison right now. Let's go with the princess. And then the poison will definitely be able to take down left side towers. That was actually a pretty good game, guys. He did have the look. He did have poison. And then also, or um, fireball, excuse me. And then also like a mortar bait deck. So definitely not an easy matchup. But we played it really well, in my opinion. Let's give him a good game. Give him the well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. So as you can see, 10-0 in the grand challenge right now. And as I said, this is, yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I just want to say, like, it's kind of repeating, of course. But I just don't want to say, this deck is just insane right now, guys. In my opinion, it's one of the best decks in the game. And definitely, in my opinion, the best lockweight version, like, out there right now. Let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So it looks like we stu uh, do start off with Rescals again. We have Lock, we have the Barrel, and we have the Princess. So this time we do have the Princess. I guess I would just go with the Princess into his Goblin Gang. Uh, one on the right side, just because he had one extra Goblin there. Not really a reason. Let's actually go with a Lock to protect our Princess. Let's see if he has, for example, also a Bait. If he does, we can just counter his Goblin Barrel with a Goblin um, Gang. Looks like he actually does have the Miner. So he has a Miner Princess Goblin Gang deck. I'm not sure what kind of deck this is. Maybe it's like a Miner Control deck, like a Miner Poison. Maybe it's... Looks like he does have the Inferno Tower as well. So it could be, for example, I have no idea. Actually, I guess that he has the Mean Horde version. There's a deck out there like with Mean Horde, Fireball, Look, and um, Bell. I think his cycle is actually kind of awkward. So we'll definitely be able to outcycle him. Looks like he does go with the gang. I'll actually go with my gang to the left side. Just because I don't want to take too much damage. Um, and then hopefully those, like my Goblin Gang, also be able to kill his Inferno Tower. This way the Ghost will actually straight, uh, like, go straight to the tower. And I don't think he has much for it. There you go. So, as I said, I think that he has Mean Horde, um, like Goblin Gang, Barrel, and then Lock, Fireball, Inferno Tower, and then the Miner. So, he doesn't have much for the Ghost, actually. Looks like he does go with his Inferno Tower. I'll actually go with a Princess to the side, trying to snipe his Princess. That was actually a pretty bad Princess, just because his, um, or our Prince was already targeted onto it. So, I'll go with a Goblin Barrel again in the front. I think he might have the Goblin Gang in cycle. Yeah, there you go. He does have the Goblin Gang in cycle, so the Goblins, one of them, will be able to get one, um, get hit onto the tower. So let's go with a look over here. Let's go with a ghost to the right side. Let's have the goblin gang ready if he goes uh, with a barrel, for example. Looks like he does go with a minor again defensive. So as I said, his cycle is pretty awkward. He doesn't really have a really, really good counter against the royal ghost. He's constantly forced to send the minor defensive, which of course is pretty good for us. So let's see, guys. Let's go with a prince in the back when we hit 10. Looks like we are right now at 10. And as I said, I'm pretty sure that he has mean horde as well. So I definitely want to keep my um, princess for this. I'll actually go with Rescos over here, and then I might actually end up poisoning, for example, offensive, or I will not. I will definitely go, yeah, I'll actually go with a Goblin Barrel, and then I will go with a Poisoner. Pretty good hitting the tower, uh, Goblin Gang, and also the Inferno Tower. Not the best, we didn't get that much damage. He might actually go with a Princess again. Uh, let's see if he does. Looks like he doesn't. Let's go with a Princess in the back. Let's actually have the Lock ready. Let's go with a Lock right now. Let's go with a Barrel, or um, a Gang to defend his Miner. And let's then again send the barrel. I'll actually throw a tricky just because I think that he is looking cycle. I'm pretty sure he has. Maybe he might um, miss it. Looks like he actually saw it. So Wobble in his part. Let's actually go with a ghost over here. Forcing him to defend it with, for example, a miner. Uh, looks like he does send a miner, but it still gets to hit. So that's awesome, guys. He doesn't have looking cycle, I believe. So we can go with Rascal's offensive. Might actually pressure with a princess one. Well. No, looks like he goes with a fireball. So he actually fireballed only the... Um, the Rascals also went with a Goblin Gang, but that actually dies. Let's go with a Goblin Barrel. I think he does have Lock and Cycle. I'm not sure. I'm actually not keeping track of his Cycle. Definitely should, but looks like he does have, um, uh, yeah, Lock and Cycle. Excuse me, guys. Let's go with Goblin Gang to the side. Let's go with Princess. Uh, since he used the Lock, I might actually want to pressure with the... Um, yeah, I'll actually pressure with the Ghost and then Rascals. So let's go with Rascals. Let's go with Ghost. And I think we actually outcycled him over here. Let's go with Goblin Barrel. I think we outcycled him. Let's actually go with a look for his Princess. Let's see if we're able to connect to the tower. Looks like our Goblins are able to connect to the tower. One Goblin is still alive. He actually missed it. Royal Ghost is still alive. I think that might actually splash onto the tower. It did splash on the tower. And I think this is a good game, guys. Let's go with Princess to the side. Go with the Goblin Gang over here. And there you go. The Royal Ghost even finished off the towers. So that was definitely a really good game. Kind of a similar, like, um... Place off the deck, but his deck was definitely different. Let's give him a good game, give him a well played, and let's give him a thumbs up. So as you guys can see, like his deck definitely was different. His cycle was really awkward. So we were constantly able to force him to def uh, like play defensive miners with the ghost, just because he's of course like forced to defend it. Roy Ghost also has a ton of HP. Like the Prince and the uh, Roy Ghost both have a ton of HP, 1100 HP as you guys can see. So definitely really um, get good cards to punish with and pressure with. So as you guys see, 11 0 in the grand challenge, and it would definitely be awesome if right now we're able to complete um, or win this match, I should say. And then complete the grand challenge, of course. 12-0. Let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him a good luck. So it looks like he says, wow, wow, wow. Let's um, let's see. It looks like we started with Prince, Lock, Poison, and the Goblin Barrel. Next card is the Princess. So I'll just try to predict his Miner. Looks like we were able to predict it. He actually didn't drop it like all the way in the corner. We were still able to catch the Miner like um, aggro. So it looks like he has e -Wiz and Miner. Could be, in, for example, a P.E.K.K.A. Miner Control. Let's see if he has the Lock or let's see if he has the Zep. Some people use the Zep with like minions, Bandit, Ghost. Some people do have the look, so looks like he does have the look, so might actually be not um, a P.E.K.K.A. Miner, could also be, for example, a Giant, but I do expect, like, a P.E.K.K.A. There you go, there the minions, so I'm guessing this is P.E.K.K.A. Miner Poison, does have the look, but then with Bandit Ghost, um, there you go, there's the Poison as well, let's go with Royal Ghost in the back. 
So let's see how we're going to play this, just because his Royal Ghost is really annoying, and of course, like, he also has, um, the Lock Poison, and then also the Electro Wizard, so definitely not an easy matchup, but I definitely think we can outplay him, let's see how he responds to the, um, Ghost, so let's go with the Prince, definitely outside with his Lock over here, so let's go with the Barrel right away, looks like he actually has Mega Knight, so his Mega Knight looks like he did cycle back to Lock while playing his part, and really good defense actually on his part, let's save up for Rescos, Rescos in this way, like they don't get um, targeted by the, like the Mega Knight, so this way only the boy takes hits and the Rescos girls are able to stay alive, so as you can see he still needs to respond to this on the counter push, so definitely really annoying um, matchup, he has Mega Knight, I was expecting a Pekka, so he has Mega Knight, Lock, um, Electro Wizard, Minor Poison, so definitely really tough matchup, but let's see if we're able to outplay him, as I said, we were able to get some hits in with the Rescue Girls, that's awesome, actually, um, the damage lead right now, let's go with the Prince's offensive, like aggressive, let's see how he responds to this, probably will Electro Wizard this, but let's see, there you go, there's the Electro Wizard, so that's awesome, we got some damage, and also forced out his Electro Wizard, let's go with the Ghost over here, let's actually go with a Gang as well, um, Electro Wizard was able to get two hits, I believe, but still, like, he's, um, still down on damage, and he still has to respond to this, so looks like he does go with a lock, that's actually really good for us, guys, let's actually go with a barrel over here, um, and then I will lock the bandit as soon as it, like, got targeted by a tower, this way, like, it will actually die, so let's see if it dies, looks like I think it definitely will die, let's go with the princess for his minions, and let's see if he goes, for example, with a miner, let's apply again, like, pressure with the royal ghost, Let's see if he'll go with a Mega Knight. Let's actually go with a Prince in the back. I think, no, he actually uh, decides to go with a Defensive Miner. I'll actually throw a Goblin Barrel. Tricky, maybe he will miss it. I do think that he has Lock and Cycle, so let's see if he actually misses it. Looks like he actually goes with his um, with his Mega Knight. Interesting play. Let's go with Rescos in the back, guys. He might actually end up poisoning, but I think we um, still should be able to defend this. Let's go with a Princess to the side. Let's actually go with a Gang to the side. There you go. There's the Poison, so he is able to get... Um, a really good poison value here let's go with the prince to the side looks like the mega knight is able to like jump onto it but since he used the lock i'll actually go with a golden barrel offensive prince is still alive i think with this hp prince might actually connect to the tower um looks like it is actually able to kill the electro wizard so that's awesome guys look at the goblins actually able to bring down the tower to 19 or uh, 397 hp let's go with princess to the side let's actually go with a lock i think i would just go with a poison over here to get some chip damage he will probably go with a mega knight or defensive miner looks like he goes with a miner I think he will Mega Knight this one, yeah, there you go, there's the Mega Knight, so as you can see, we can definitely mess up his cycle, like, constantly applying pressure with the Ghost, let's go with the Prince to the side, guys, let's go with the Royal Ghost, just because I don't want this, um, Mega Knight to splash onto this, so let's go with the Rescos right now, guys, let's see if we're able to, uh, force out the lock, there you go, there's the lock, and I think this is a good game, guys, let's go with the Goblin Gang, let's go with the Goblin Barrel, let's actually go with the Poison as well, since he used his minions, and the Prince is still alive, guys, the, um, Rescue Boy did die, but as you can see, Prince charged into the tower, one more hit was, uh, GJ, like, uh, taking down the right of the tower, so let's give him a good game, give him a well played, and let's give him a thumbs up, so 12-0 in this grand challenge, as you can see, awesome deck, awesome gameplay, in my opinion, hopefully you guys also enjoyed the gameplay, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I would say, let's just get into the chest opening, guys, actually a really short episode, but really fun one. 12-0, that's definitely clean. Uh, looks like we start off the chest with 22k gold, which is always nice. We get some skeletons, dart goblin, elixir collector, inferno tower. We get some better rams, fireball, lots of rares, but um, not like many amounts. 17 knights. Looks like we get some Valkyrie, we get 7 Mega Mias, 90 Bomb Towers, so as you can see, stack full right now, and we get some extra gold, and then um, 11 clones, and I think we might actually get a Legendary, we already got all the rares, we already got all the epics, if right now we get a lot of uh, comments, excuse me, we do get a Legendary, so let's see if we get it, guys, looks like we do get it, 957 bets, that's awesome, guys, also get some extra gold, and then the next card is a Legendary, so let's see what kind of Legendary we get, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, and it will be a... Uh, Looks like Sparkly. Sparkly is not the best legendary, but definitely not a, like a terrible legendary. 4 out of the 20, so that was actually really awesome, guys. Really cool episode, in my opinion. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.